Hi, this is Don, KC9ZMY, and I've been working with the workbenches, antenna analyzer, part of the Ham Radio 360 group of podcasts. I've been having a lot of fun with the project, and I thought I'd show the community some of the things that I've managed to make it do while I've been playing with both the code on the Arduino and some code that I've written on my Mac. Now, this is one of the very first videos I've produced, so the quality here is probably not going to be stellar, but hopefully it'll get the idea across and people can discuss and take a look at what we're doing and maybe suggest future ideas and how we can enhance the code. And I know other people are working and we can pull this together and have a whole community of people working on this project. So, <clears throat> one of the things I've done here is I've rewritten the Arduino code, and it basically does what it did before. Um, I made some modifications, as you will see, for the ability to interface with Python and make it just a little more seamless into that. Unfortunately, it does break the legacy code, so we'll have to figure out how we're going to fit it together if we are. I think there's lots of room for a lot of people to play. So the basic functionality is still in the product, though what I did is I modified it so the band switch switches bands, but the mode switch causes it to run a scan. I found it a little easier and a little more positive if I could switch bands and then start a scan. Now, right now, it runs a scan based on the current band limits as set by the ARRL, and then uh, does 300 samples within that scan. I found that that was a good compromise. Um, maybe I can put in a function that would change the number of samples, but that's it. Press the button, change the band run the scan. Now, right now, too, in this setup, I'm running straight into a 50 ohm wire wrap resistor, which is giving me kind of a predictable set of values back. So when I modify the code, I usually get the same answer back so that I can have a baseline for what's going on. So then the other thing that I've done is I have created a Python environment and for those familiar with Python I've used the Flask framework which has allowed me to create a web-based environment while maybe not typical of what you would do has allowed me to create an environment that I can run on different platforms and do different things with. So basic home page I probably will go around and modify the tabs and then the ability to run a sweep, a sweep being a scan of a set of frequencies. So we can put in, like for 80 meters, 3.5 and 4 megahertz. And because the graphs tend to get a little, little messy, we'll give ourselves like 20 samples which isn't a lot of resolution, but it will give us an idea of what's going on. So it comes back, reports start and end, number of samples, and it plots a graph. And there we are. We've got a graph. We can then use any sequence of values you want. You can go 3,000, or 3, 3 megahertz, 4 megahertz, and run another sweep and see what happens. A little more linear. Or you can even, you know, you could go like, th sorry, 39. And look at a specific area of your antenna to see what's going on. Again, this just being a wire wrapped resistor, it has some impedance, so it has some values, but it is typically fairly predictable. So from one 
test to the next, I basically get the same results. So there was a little breakdown of what I've done. And uh, hopefully you're all interested. I can make the code available if anyone's interested. If people have ideas, we can add it in. I'm sure, like I said, there's lots of room for us all to play. So let's get a discussion going of what we're going to do with this little thing. So this is Don KC9ZMY saying happy antenna analyzing. Bye-bye.